Hey guys, so today we are making lemon chicken pasta salad. So here are the ingredients for what you're going to need. About one box, which is roughly about a pound of either bow tie or shell pasta, really whatever type you like. I like using either the shells or the bow ties. Also about four, three to four ounces of spinach, a package about nine ounces or so of chicken breast, uh, you'll need about four, uh, four tablespoons of lemon juice and um, a pint or about half a pint of tomatoes. You can also add salt as well and feta cheese for a topping, which is optional for your desire. So the first ingredient you're going to want to add is your pasta, which is roughly about a box, a around a pound of pasta. And you're going to want to make sure that that is thoroughly cooked and drained. And next, you're going to want to add your three to four ounces of spinach. Next, you're going to want to add your tomatoes, which most likely if you're using grape or cherry tomatoes, you're going to want to cut these in half. up using just a little bit less than a pint so then I'm going to add this in here and mix this up. Alright so next what you're going to want to add is your chicken breast. I'm using the Purdue Shortcuts. Um, this is a carved chicken breast, the honey roasted type. You're going to want to use about nine ounces. Um, normally the shortcuts come in about that size. You guys can either use fresh or frozen. Um, these ones were fresh kind so um, the cubes or the strips really anything will work um, and any type like I said I'm using the honey roasted but really any type will work. So what you're going to want to do next is add all of your other ingredients into a small mixing bowl so that it is combined. So what we're going to do is add the lemon juice, the uh, olive oil, and some salt as well. your ingredients are mixed together you're going to add it over kind of like a dressing a little bit and then you're going to combine all of that together as well all right so once all of your ingredients are combined along with the dressing this is where you'd add your feta cheese over the top if you were planning on doing that and then you should chill it or serve it chilled and that's it it serves normally about six to eight people um, and it works also really well as a summer side salad as well so i hope you all enjoy bye guys click here to subscribe to our daily vlogs if you guys want to check out my couponing videos click here